September 1st, 2024. We are here for the final fireworks showing of the summer season, but at the same time, we're gonna see the Fright Fest set up for 2024. And as you walk into the park, there is a brand new Midway Zone, the first ever Midway Zone, called Dia de los Muertos. The whole entirety of Los Festivales is going to be decorated, as well as you can see, but decorated with sugar skulls and theming to the Hispanic culture of this awesome holiday and event. As you make your way over to the Zaragoza Theater, you can see some more decoration, but inside the Zaragoza Theater, starting September 7th, will be a new production called Haunted Hollywood. It's going to follow the same premise as Forever Hollywood, but haunted. make our way over to the main area. Before that, I want to come over to the VIP lounge, which has recently had an update. So it's still the higher up passes get an all free, free entry all season long, $5 if you don't have it. But they finally added the complimentary snacks and the menu back into uh, the lounge. As you can see, this cycles through some of the things you can find inside the lounge. Uh, they serve sirloin steaks, they serve Philly cheese steaks, and cheese quesadillas. And their menu is not only back, it has expanded. Here is where the haunted house booths will be placed. Uh, as you enter the park, you can come over here and purchase your tickets, or if you have already pre-purchased a ticket, you can go and claim your wristband there. This is the new Midway Zone, Dia de los Muertos. So next weekend, after 7 p.m. or the arrival, this whole area will be lit up and it will look spectacular. And it's not even fully decorated yet. This whole, this middle piece right here, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna put this here. So that's gonna be pretty cool. We got the huge, huge skulls to fit the decor and the giant skeletons up there. As you can see, they repainted the Soul Harvest skeletons to fit the theme and they repainted the Circus Berserkus slash Carnival Terror skulls to fit the theme. Over here at Teatro Fiesta, a new production is happening. And if you look over at the stage, you can see it's fully decorated and it will be Fiesta de los Muertos. This will be a brand new take on their Mariachi Los Soberanos show that they've had here for a while now. And this time it will be a tribute to the Day of the Dead. As we head on down to Spasburg, you'll start to see that their Oktoberfest food festival decorations have slowly started to go up. This year, the event will run from September 7th to October 27th, and you can find many different food offerings and drink offerings throughout the event located here in Spasburg. A little bit further down the path into Spasburg, you'll find the entrance to one of their haunted houses and their only kid haunted house, the House of Curiosity and House of Hungen, Curse of the Roguri. As you can see, the sign is back there waiting to be put up. But this is the entrance. The kid haunted house will be available from park open to around 4.30 p.m., 5, 5 p.m., around there. And then at 6 p.m., 
the actual haunted house will open. So starting next weekend, that will happen. Here is their huge staple animatronic for Oktoberfest. Uh, right now it is turned off, but next weekend it will be on. And then right here will be one of their six locations where they will be serving food and drinks. So be on the lookout for that. Here in the arcade in Spasburg is where the haunted house Trapped is housed. So they turn the entire inside of the arcade, clear it out, and they turn it into the uh, mental asylum known as Trapped. Trapped is one of the six haunted houses you can encounter here. Uh, next to House of Hoon and Curse of the Roguru, another one of the six you can encounter. But a little over this way is the Wicked Hollow Scare Zone. And as you can see, the sign, the entrance signs, uh, I, I hate how they're not symmetric right now, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure they'll change that. But they repainted the Wicked and Hollow, so that looks really clean. Here is the exit to Trapped. Uh, you can't really see much through there, but it's, it's, it is a really good haunted house. I recommend it. Here in Wicked Hollow, they have, well, just about everything set up. The dolls, they actually redid the dolls. As you can see, they have brand new paint on them and kind of a new take. They look way better than before. They, they did need a little bit of TLC. The huge ogre in the middle of Wicked Hollow. And over here, on Bugs Bunny Whitewater Rapids, the dragon's picture thing, whatever, has been closed up. And as you walk out of the zone, there's still two more horrifying props left. There's this guy who has four arms and axes for feet. He looks very disgusting. And finally, a huge well here at the exit of Wicked Hollow. As we make our way over into the DC area, you can see they have started to put the rails up for the Metropolis Transit Authority, or as we like to call it, the monorail. Cyborg Cyber Revolution is over there. They've already begun testing. The track for the monorail is almost complete. They just got a few more tracks to place down. Then they can start building the queue house and do testing. And finally, after that, Shazam Tower of Eternity construction will go into full swing. Right now, it is vertical, but progress is really being focused on finishing the monorail. Next to DC Universe, they have the construction of the new entrance and store to Superman Krypton Coaster. They're gonna be turning this whole thing into a Daily Planet themed store. And right now, it is predicted to open Fright Fest opening weekend. As you can see, the majority of the outside is complete. As we head over to the Rockville area, you can see that you can get a shake over at Johnny Rockets. That's pretty cool. Anyway, this area of Rockville is getting a whole renovation for Fright Fest. Infestation, gone. Rock Kill High School, gone. What's in their place? A new zone and a new house. The new zone being Festival of Fright, which, hmm, looks like nothing is set up for it, which is, now that, here's the concept art for it. Now that I think about it, it seems pretty easy for it to be set up, so I can see why they're waiting. The inside of Rockville is what they're most likely focusing on right now because the zone that's gonna go, or not zone, sorry, a house that's gonna go in there 
is Stranger Things. That's right, we are getting a Stranger Things haunted house inside Rockville High School for Fright Fest. But if we make our way over to the left side over here, you can see they have begun setting up for not Festival of Fright, but the Spooky Town Looney Tunes Trick or Treat Trail. This is the area where you'll be able to do trick or treating during the daytime on Saturdays and Sundays. Fridays, they won't have this open. You can see everything that they have here. And it looks like this is the entrance to it. And as you can see, Spooky Town. Yeah, that is the trick or treat trail. If you're sad that infestation is gone, then don't worry too much because this area over here to my left is going to be re-themed for Fright Fest to a 1950s sci-fi area and with that comes the old infestation props. As you can see they have a brand new sign here for Scream. The alien is still here, the UFO is still here, the other UFO is still here, but the more important part about heading over here is a brand new show for the 2024 season called The Heebie Jeebies. Here is their set stage. As you can see, looks like a TV. This show will be very similar to Motley Ghoul's last year, but take more of a 1950s to 1960s style for their music. It will be Saturday and Sunday at 5.30 p.m. as of now. That can be subject to change. As we make our way over to the boardwalk, you can see this is the home of Carnival of Terror. This scare zone was brand new last year and it takes over the entire right side of the boardwalk. Here is another one of their booths. It says Oktoberfest, but really it's for Fright Fest. They serve clown themed drinks there. Here is one of the three booths they have here. See, they put new paint back there. Here's the second one. And the third one is located right over here. Last year, all three of these had tiny little signs at the top of them that said Carnival of Terror. However, this year, they do not. And I wonder why. If you look over here at Pandemonium, you can see this is where Twisted Theater of Torment will be housed. Now, I want to give a little bit of constructive criticism here. I love Carnival of Terror, and I love the idea of it. But it makes it hard to function with only four props. I get it that the creation of brand new props, it's expensive. It's not easy. As, as you can see, there's other huge, bigger things to focus on this year as well. Stranger Things, Conjuring, uh, which I haven't even mentioned yet, oops, oopsies, uh, and Dia de los Muertos, the brand new area, and then Festival of Fright, they still need to focus on that. So obviously Carnival of Terror will be on a back burner. But I still feel like it, sh it needs more than these four props to help it work even better. The zone itself now isn't bad. It really isn't. And I like it. But it could be way more. As you head into the archway to Crack Axle Canyon, you can see a beautiful mixture of Halloween and summertime. All the summer decoration is still up, yet at the exact same time, the Halloween decoration is there next to it. But over from here, 
you can see a sneak peek of the Monster Mash Bash set, which we'll get a better look at later tonight. Here's the other side of that. And now we have to head back over to the boardwalk because I forgot to look at Hell Valley. So over here in Hell Valley Cemetery, the entrance right here, you can see they moved the giant skeleton prop next to it. But Hell Valley looks completely set up, aside from this really large mound of dirt sitting there. And now I gotta walk all the way back over to Crack Axle Canyon. It's so hot out. What I'm about to talk about is on the completely opposite side of the park, but I forgot to mention it. Over inside Sangerfest Hall, Darwar Spin will be returning again. And outside of Sangerfest Hall, in the courtyard, the beer tapping ceremony featuring Darwar Spin will also be returning. So as I was walking past this, I didn't even realize, but this whole part of Gully Washer, they got decorated with their typical camo leaf things. Same with up here along Bubba's and the bar. Let's see how that's going. But more importantly, over at the heart of Crack Axle Canyon, which is the Whistle Stop Station, you can see there is the old Steampunk and Prop, the Arrival, which is coming back. That will happen at 7 p.m every operating night of Fright Fest starting September 7th. But then we have this. Now, if this doesn't look familiar to you, this is the giant pumpkin statue that they had for Soul Harvest. And as you can see, they renovated it for steam pumpkins. If you don't know, Soul Harvest isn't returning this year due to Dia de los Muertos at the front of the park. But they were not gonna let this thing go to waste and that is amazing right there there's the arrival sign this is where the arrival will happen you can see the train station is a little bit decorated and then here is the other big pumpkin guy there's still a third one a little bit further down uh and once fright fest starts this whole entrance to the train station will be completely decorated it's the little things like this that amount to the most. Because without all this theming here, and without putting stuff up there as well, all that would be over here is just a couple pumpkins. So it's the little things like this that really bring out a zone and really bring out the Halloween decoration. By the way, they're still decorating for steam pumpkins. They're still tiny little things I like to put up here. Uh, but if we look over to our right side, this is typically where Buried Alive is located. This year, Buried Alive is not going to be here. And instead, we are going to get the Conjuring Universe as a haunted house. I believe the... I don't know if the entrance is going to be over here or at the exit. I can't remember what they stated, but I believe it's supposed to be the old exit to Buried Alive. We'll find out in about a week. Uh, and then this is the proper entrance to this zone, Steam Pumpkins. As you can see down there, the beautiful arrival sign with the props. So instead, of a stage being here, like last year from Motley Ghouls, we are going to have another one of the Oktoberfest booths here. This one is going to be a bar booth and not a food booth. But next weekend, on Saturday, this should be open. If you look back here, you can see all the steampunk and stuff they're still gonna put up. And if you look over here, you can see more steampunk and stuff that they're gonna put up. This zone is not yet complete, but it already looks amazing. That's set up up there. Right here next to the Iron Rattler, 
is where Slaughterhouse 6 Extreme The Butchering is. This has been, I think, the 11th year of Slaughterhouse coming back. Because I believe it got introduced all the way back to 2013. So this is the 11th year of Slaughterhouse being here at the park. And as you know, Rock Kill was here 11 years before they decided to get rid of it. So who knows? Maybe Slaughterhouse will outlive Rock Kill? Or could this be the final year of Slaughterhouse 6? Last but not least on the haunted attractions for Fright Fest is Fear Acres. As you can see, the outside here is decorated um, for the exterior of Fear Acres. However, Fear Acres location is supposed to be inside the water park. So, as to why all this is decorated and not the inside of the water park, I have no idea. Um, Fear Acres, though, is supposed to be getting an expansion this year, so that will be pretty cool to see. But as of now, there's actually nothing to it. All that we, all that we have, is just that stuff there. And then if you look into the water park, you'll see this stuff isn't set up. So who knows? Maybe they're gonna move it outside the water park. I mean, that makes more sense. Um, to have it along all this. Maybe that's why all this is being decorated and not the inside of the water park. But, yeah, that's that's the status of Fear Acres right now. Uh, coming back this way to Crack Axle Canyon, I realized I made a fatal error. So I stated that that's all there was for Fear Acres, but as I was coming back this way, I looked through the bushes one more time just to see maybe, maybe I missed something. I did miss something. There's actually set up in the water park for Fear Acres. So we're going to go over there, basically go into the water park and see what's going on with Fear Acres. As you come over this way into the water park, you can see the exterior setup for one of the many shacks for Fear Acres. Uh, as I was walking this way, I noticed there was a couple more. So that means uh, they're actually setting up and I just somehow missed it. But yeah, this is one of the many shacks here. Um, can't really see much because they have it gated off so that people can't go into it right now. But you can kind of see over it. And as we head up this way, you'll see many more shacks. In fact, this whole backside is actually exposed so you can kind of see that. But uh, yeah, there's, there's more. So I've completely messed up the pathing for Fear Acres, but this is again, another one of the multiple shacks that they will have in this extreme scare zone. So this is the actual path. You would go through here, come out that side, and from there, you will travel over to that next shack, which we're going to. So this is the third and final shack of the normal Fear Acres. Uh, you can kind of see through there, but supposedly the zone is getting a bit of an expansion due to Soul Harvest not existing anymore. They're gonna use some of those props. Now walking through here, I don't see anything that indicates that, but as you can see, they're still setting up, so who knows? Okay, so now that we've actually gone through there to check, you can see that the setup for Fear Acres is actually going quite strong and isn't just what's happening out here. That is, that's just a mistake on my part for not actually checking. I should have actually went in there to check, so that is a mistake. But as I was walking this way, what had happened was I decided, you know what, maybe, just, just maybe I missed something. So I looked through here and I saw those gates, so I took a closer look and then I saw the shack and I was like, well, damn. I mean, that's cool that it's being set up, but how did I miss that? Um, but yeah, that's really everything regarding the haunted attractions. 
Uh, all that's left to show off is the Mash Bash stage. How about we cut to a closer look at that Mash Bash stage? So before we actually go over to Mash Bash stage, we're here with a few, few of our others. Go check out their channels. Swayze. Uh, I think it's just his name, Tyler. Um, and then Jay. They're gonna. I think all of them are posting videos. I know for sure Tyler and Jay are. I'll leave the link to their channels in the description. But yeah, we're. They're gonna be involved together in their videos. I'll be involved. I did get here before all of them though, so I got my. Fright Fest setup video done, but right now I'm I'm relaxing and walking around with them. Here we are, uh, Lone Star. Oh, what a night! The final one of the season. About to start, but as you can see, they are fully set up for Rock Apocalypse Anthems and Monster Mash Bash: The Bloodletting. Everything is here, and this is how we're gonna cap off our Fright Fest setup video of 2024. We're gonna go see Oda tonight for the last time this season, possibly last time ever, because this is its second term. And uh, yeah, six days from now, we're gonna be back here waiting for this to start. See y'all then. So we're sitting here waiting for the final fireworks show of the summer season. And then the speakers just went out, out of nowhere. I mean, like the timer's still going, but uh, this, oh, oh, okay. This is what we're doing. Oh, all right. What, what? Okay, I'm happy I caught that on video. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
for joining us for our Summer Night Spectacular. Be safe getting home, and we hope to see you again real soon. Remember, go all out this summer at Six Flags Fiesta Texas. That is a wrap on the Fright Fest 2024 setup. Six more days. And that will be official. See y'all next time.